friends, how are ya? Welcome back to the channel. I just did a skirt with my plan today because um, I was gonna film a vlog today and I woke up and was like, you know what I really actually wanna do? I wanna film a sip and thrift. It has been so long. I don't think I've filmed a proper sip and thrift since moving here. So it's been at least half a year. And yesterday I was filming a sit down video explaining like the evolution of my channel. And I was talking about how often I used to do sip and thrifts. And I think that just planted the seed in my head of really wanting to wake up and do this today. If you're unfamiliar, sip and thrift is a video where we go on some sort of thrifting adventure and we also stop and get something caffeinated along the way. And I used to do these so often that I would have a theme of like thrifting for fall or thrifting from the men's section or whatever. But since it's been so long, I just wanna go, no rules, no regulations, see what we naturally find. I'm toying with a couple ideas, one of which is high risk because there's a spot I want to go see, but it is very far away. It is all the way downtown San Diego. So no traffic right now, it's looking like 40 minutes, but it could be an hour and a half on the way back depending on traffic. And that is a huge, I think the largest in all of San Diego vintage market. It's called Kurtz, K-U-R-T-Z. I've heard great things. But there's a chance I could drive all the way there and absolutely flop. And I guess worst case scenario, we could hit up a couple thrift stores or vintage stores on the way back if it is a flop. The more I talk, the more I think we should drive all the way into downtown San Diego and see this market and just make a day of it. Well, what do you say? Okay, let's do it. Do you know what I just realized? Kurt Street is right next to this other coffee shop slash plant store I've always wanted to go to called Terra Bella Nursery. We've driven by it before on our way home from the airport and I've been like, what is that? Like it is a whole plant store with a coffee shop inside. This is for sure what we're doing guys. We're taking a trip. We are getting out of Oceanside, baby. Oh my gosh, we've made it and it is massive this whole warehouse do you see how big it is it literally says san diego's largest vintage and antique mall with 100 plus dealers and 40,000 square feet there's even some outdoor things over here that i wonder if we can go and see <gasps> i'm so excited okay buckle up guys we're going in <laughs> Eventually I do want to buy more sculptural things and this vintage dolphin is actually so fun, but I can't go too nautical in my house or else it'll start to seem like a theme. <laughs> but wait, there's a, there's a bigger dolphin. <laughs> Honestly, this chair is iconic. I don't have a spot for it, nor would it really match anything I have, but that is so cool. It's kind of like a captain's chair vibe. I really like it. Y'all know I love my bone inlay mirrors. Look at this one. It's like a hexagon. But I also need to stop buying mirrors. I need art instead of mirrors. I cop out and I get mirrors all the time to fill walls because it feels easier. But my goal is to eventually find art that I love. Maybe it's today. We'll see. Oh, there's the outdoor spot. Where do I even go from here? I don't even know. Okay, one booth at a time. Okay, still looking at art. I really enjoy this style. I guess that you call it kind of impressionist. Is that right? This one has nice colors. None of these colors are really exactly what I'm going for in my home. But like that, that style is so beautiful. She's kind of cool, but the blue is very blue. Actually, she kind of looks like my mom. Carolyn, is that you? I'm like a little bit overwhelmed in the best way. Like I don't want to miss anything. And there's just so much. Like I need to make a plan for the, for the footprint that I walk. Okay, tell me why I really love this vintage signed cowboy plate. Oh my gosh. Look at the back. It's pretty cool. Um, definitely don't have a spot for him. Oh my gosh, earlier I found my mom. Now I found this is exactly what my little sister looked like at this age. Like, same haircut and everything. I gotta send a picture of this to my parents. It's hilarious. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so I have a coral sculpture on my, um, like, coffee table in the den that I bought at the Austin Antique Mall. And I love it so much, and I've always looked for more. And look. This one's broken, and it has a big piece missing. But this one is pretty full and would be so fun to throw into another room somewhere. I feel like because I love my other one so much, I can have one upstairs and one downstairs, right? Is that excessive? I don't know. I really like it. I think 
I think I will use it somewhere. Said I was looking for sculptural things. <laughs> what about a duplicate of something I already own and love? Does that count? Sorry, I'm still like literally looking as I'm talking to you. There's just so much to take in at all times. <laughs> okay, this booth is so cute. And I know I said I had to be weary of too many nautical things, but this is $15 and it's so sturdy and huge. And I feel like maybe for the new laundry room, this is a little spot to hang things. I don't know, I, I, I'm gonna get it. Wait a minute, I'm actually not getting this because look what I just found. A bigger one. A big daddy coral piece. And it's only $10 more. Yep, I'm gonna get the big one. Uh-oh, guys. I'm accidentally hitting a theme. More brass, more nautical. But these are bookends that look like shells. They are so cool. And also, I love this man. I actually almost bought a very similar painting to him on our honeymoon. An oil painting of like a kind of old sailor. I kind of, I kind of want him. I feel like some of y'all are gonna absolutely hate this painting, but trust the vision, okay? I'm very much inspired by all of the really cute, like eclectic spots we stayed in in Maine that had a lot of old oil portraits, but then had like a couple pieces of like funky super modern furniture to balance it out. And I think that this color would be really nice against the dark, dark green. Look, almost my shirt color in the guest bedroom with like the super modern little couch, you know? We'll try it out. I, I really like him. He's coming home. He's coming home for sure. Okay, I'm so sorry. The theme continues. Look at this. This is an amazing massive brass hook. That would be cool in the laundry room. Um, I could get rid of my anchor, possibly. I really love that. I feel like, I feel like that would be so cool. I also would love one of these for, oh, that's part of the board. Just, just like the thing to go over a cake, what do you call it, like a dome, for whenever I have people over and have cakes or cupcakes, obviously not this size, but if I see one of these larger, that is something that I have kind of been on the hunt for as well. But this is a cheese board, I guess, kinda cute. I've completed the first half. I mean, I think that there's only two parts and I'm emerging into the second half, and this side actually has a lot of clothes, which is pretty fun. Maybe I'll look through it, but, I'm gonna try to like lap through it pretty fast because then I might wanna go back to those couple booths that were just so me. Um, I just don't wanna, you know, commit to too many things before I've seen it all. I have been roasted online for not owning a rolling pin. There's this vintage marble one for $12. It's pretty pretty actually. It's heavy, but it comes with a stand. Maybe I get him. When you find a vendor who really gets your vibe, it's so hard not to leave with everything. Like look, all of these little sailboats here. Look at this brass sailboat thing down here. I just took my things to the front desk to have more hands. Look at that. Like, part of me feels like I can't leave these things, but I, I literally cannot buy all those things. I, I cannot have that many sailboats in my home. There's even a little duck down there. Do you see it? This person knows me. What a win. We left with six things, four of them incredibly nautical, one of them brass, one of them practical for baking, which is nice. And I say, let's go get some caffeine on the drive. Let's go check out that new kind of like plant coffee shop. I think it was called Terabella. It's literally 0.4 miles away. So if you're looking to recreate this day, it's very easy, just literally one from the other. You could spend a full day here and go get some caffeine. Pretty nice. is massive and sorry if the music's oh the lines are back so weird what is this anyways I asked the employee which I should get and she said the pistachio one because she said it's a little less sweet which she doesn't love sweet so there's a there's a game of tag happening so it's almond milk pistachio matcha haven't tried a sip yet let's give it a little That is so good. I've never thought about pistachio and matcha together. And now my brain is going for like recipes, like maybe a baked good. Oh, and while I'm here, I'm just gonna peek at the plants. If you guys watch my vlogs, you know, recently I was on the hunt for plants. I bought one 
at a local spot, but this has endless, endless, endless plants here. So I'm just gonna do a lap, just a lap. This is making me feel really good about the $60 Monstera I bought the other day that is like probably three times the size of this one. I knew it was a good deal. Gonna film a little recap haul before we go place all these things around the house. Um, if you can hear weird noises, there is construction happening in our den right now. They're actually replacing our interior door. So we will be working around the construction um, and I'll do all of the hanging everything montage style, which will be great. So I'll walk you through the things I got and kind of my ideas for them, of course, the massive piece of coral. I'm actually thinking for now putting her in this glass cabinet. I don't love the way this top one has been looking in terms of styling. So I feel like putting her in there would be awesome. Down the line, I want to try to build in more like shelving space in the rest of our home and just keep collecting treasures to one day have a spot to display them. But for now, I want her to live there and we'll see how this house continues to evolve and grow. I did end up getting this, even though I tried not to do too many nautical things, but I was thinking it could be such a cute towel hook in our guest bathroom up here. Eventually I wanna redo that whole bathroom and paint it like a really fun color. It's a deep gray right now, but I thought for now that would be a really fun, funky piece to have in there. And then of course, our bookends, where I would love to use these if they're strong enough. They're not super heavy, but is for the cookbooks in the kitchen downstairs. Um, right now I have big, heavy, like marble stone bookends, which I've had for a super long time. This is more just like the vibe that I want here in the house, but they might be too weak for big, heavy cookbooks. So we'll see. I'll have to find another home if that's the case, but I just love them. I think that they're so, so beautiful. And look, made here in San Diego which is even more special. Of course, our cute man. I either want to hang him directly above the bed in the guest bedroom, but if that's too aggressive, then there's a little half wall when you first walk in. I have a little like picture of Austin there right now, but he could be cute there as well. So we'll see where it makes the most sense for him to live. But I think I'm gonna give myself permission to just like full send on the guest bedroom right now because I can go super funky in that space and I feel like it's the most forgiving since it's not our room, it's not my office, it's not a spot I film a ton. I can do all of my main dreams, which is like dark, moody. Jordy's really encouraged me to do this too. So don't worry, it's not just me doing it. This is all with, with his, his brainstorming as well. I get comments all the time that are like, what about Jordy? Everything I do to the home, we, we collectively decide on together. It's just me talking to you with my thoughts. So I'm using me and I, just before I get those comments, cause I know I will. We both think this is like the sickest thing ever. The noise you're hearing is to finish off the laundry room right now. So I think it should be done by the end of this week, but having this on one of the walls and hanging, honestly, I don't know if I'll end up hanging like maybe pool towels or something because it's right off the pool or I think it would be nice to hang a couple more cleaning supplies like like a dust pan and like maybe I can find even a cute wooden broom or something to hang from this. I'm considering eventually either wallpapering that room or taking like a beautiful blush pink on the ceiling and carrying it down a little bit because our church has that in one of the rooms and it's so cool looking. And I don't wanna do pink really anywhere in the house except maybe a laundry room. And of course, I'll just find a spot to display this in the kitchen. And lastly, of course, I ended up coming with a little ficus. This is technically also called a rubber tree, right? I've had a couple of these before. I've had bad luck with them, but it's been a few years. So I'm hoping I can redeem myself with this one and that he might be cute on the dresser in our bedroom for now. Eventually I wanna do a whole bedroom decorating video once I have a plan for in there, but that's the only thing I ended up getting for our bedroom today. So with all that being said, y'all wanna come along and display slash hang as many of these things as we can and see how it looks. End off on that. I think that sounds great. Okay, let's do it. I really like it. 
this is what I want to do, but I feel like I'm gonna need to wait and consult someone before screwing something into a door. There is like, there's like a, like a command strip looking hook on this door that I think is just stuck with paint. I'd really love to rip it off and put this here. Wouldn't that be so cool? I mean, that would be tight. It'd be a tight squeeze. Door for bath towels, randomly on this little wall for a hand towel, or squeezed right next to this medicine cabinet for a hand towel. I'm gonna pause, I'm not gonna do this today, and I'm gonna wait for your feedback because, wow, the lighting is actually really good in this bathroom. Does this need to be my filming bathroom from now on? for clicking on this video and watching it all the way to the end. I would love to know your thoughts. Do you miss these? Should I start doing these, you know, maybe once a month again? What's the vibe? Uh, you let me know down in the comments and let me know if you have any specific requests as well because whenever I have a great idea from y'all, I'm like, heck yeah, let's do that. <laughs> and it goes on the schedule real quick. So I love reading your suggestions, but let me know. For real, for real. I know a vlog was supposed to go live today and I changed the plan, so thanks for being here. And I will see you in a vlog on Saturday. So I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. <laughs>